Hey, what's going on everybody? JS Cards here coming at you and I finally got my display of maximum gold. I thought I'd crack this open on camera, go through everything. There was a little bit of a holdup with getting this ordered, but we got it here today. I'm excited to crack this open. There's some awesome cards and reprints and stuff like that in here. So let me get this out of the plastic and we'll go through it. Alrighty, so we got our five boxes here. Just gotta peel the plastic off and we'll go through each box. Hopefully we have some good luck. I'd really like to get an access code, of course. Uh, Verte Anaconda's in this set. There's quite a few cards that I'd like to get. So I've only opened up like one or two boxes, I think, of this so far. I know the quality control of this set isn't like the greatest. There's been some crazy misprints. So I don't know if we'll have anything like that today, but let's just kind of crack this open and see what we got. There we go. So we have Baby Sarasaurus, Code Talker, Numeron Storm for our first gold, as well as Torrential Tribute. And after that, oh, we have Firewall Dragon. Really weird to see is just like a rare, but we do have the alternate artwork, so that's pretty cool. We'll set our golds off to the side. And we'll move on to the next pack. More dino stuff here. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. Fire Formation Tanky. All right, nice reprint there. And IP. This is the original art, of course. There is the option to get the... Uh, the... Um, Alternate art, which looks really nice as well, but I'll take that. We got Striker Dragon and another Red Dragon Archfiend card. Awesome. All right. Pack number three out of four for the first box. Trishula. Oh, I didn't even know that was in here, but that looks kind of nice as a gold. Not going to lie. Uh, we have some Eldritch stuff. Cyframe Gear Gamma. All right, maybe we'll get our play set. That'd be nice to have a gold uh, a gold set of gammas. And Shooting Code Talker. All right, last pack for box number one. Weather Painters, Rocket Tracer, Prank Kids Lampsies. Uh, break sword, that's nice to see. And Scrap Chimera. We have Eldlich and Numeron Wall. All right, moving on to box number two. All right, we got our packs out. Let's start with pack number one. More Prank Kids, Almirage. Fossil Dyna. Oh, that's nice. Old school card there. Oh, Cyframe uh, Lord Lambda. This is actually really good. This card was expensive for the longest time, so that's nice to see. Another IP Mascarena. And we have number 81. And lastly, we have Giant Rex. Between last year's uh, gold edition and this year's maximum gold. Lots of dino stuff. So if you do want to build dinos, I think you could do like the whole deck in gold rares if you really wanted to. Ancient Gear Fusion. That's pretty cool to see, actually. Oh, here we go. We have... What on earth is this? Prime Math Mech. I'm not even going to attempt the name, but we got a Math Mech card. There's a bunch of cards I apparently didn't even know were in here, so... We have the Eldlich Fusion Monster, another Gamma, there we go, two out of three, and Shooting Code. So, can we get our playset of Gammas? It, it's looking pretty good so far. Hey, okay, we got another Math Mech here. Oracle of Zephra. Okay, this is like a duplicate pack. Is this... <laughs> oh, there we go. We got our third Gamma. We have Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, and we have uh, Zephra Nui, the Secret of the Yangzing. All right, last pack for box number two. We have Xcode Talker, Deep Sea Diva, 
Oh, Evolzar Lagia. That's pretty cool. And Red Eyes Black Dragon. We got the alternate art. This looks so cool. I really, really like that. And even the Dragon Maid card at the end. So, so far, I mean, we're looking good. We'll do a recap. We got our play set of Gammas. Really, a Verte and an access code would make me happy, but let's see what we get in this third box. What do we got? Uh, Rail Cannon Juggernaut Leave. This is actually a really good card that I wanted. Nice to see this reprinted. We have Nightmare Unicorn. That looks fantastic as a gold rare. I really like that. And we have Raigeki. Old school, kind of random to see in here, but that works. We have uh, Psy Frame Lord Zeta and a Giant Rex as well. So far, the card quality seems okay. It seems pretty good. I mean, like, nothing crazy yet. The, you know, no misprints or chipping of the gold or anything, but let's see what we got. Mystic Mine Gold Rare. Alrighty. I know a lot of people hate that card. A lot of people love it. Uh, we have the Weather Painter Snow, Numeron Network, and Prank Kids Weather Washer. Blue Eyes White Dragon with the LOB art. That looks really nice. Okay. Was not expecting to see that. We have Scrap Dragon and Soul Eating Over Raptor. Drag Unity stuff, and even an upstart. Oh, a little bit of chipping up there. Uh, we have Prank Kids Dropsies, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, another Lambda, Urgent Schedule, Evolzar, and uh, Phantom Knight Silent Boots. Okay. All right, guys, two more boxes. Let's crack it open. All right, here we go. We have Starlight Road, Code Talker here, uh, Numeron Calling, another Raigeki, and a Roxy's. We've seen quite a few uh, different Prank Kids cards in here, so that's a fun deck. I really like it, so should be fairly cheap to build now. We have Omega. Lampsies, Numeron Storm. Oh, we have Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill. Okay, that's nice to see as a gold. And a sign at mining at the end, okay. You know, don't sleep on the rares that are in this. Like, there's a lot of good low rarity reprints in here. We have another Rocket Tracer. Number two. Baby Ceresaurus, number C1000, Weather Painter Rain, and a Baguska. All right, last pack. One more box to go after this. Danger Bigfoot and Soul Eating Over Raptor. All right, guys, last box. What can we get? Four packs left. All right, here we go. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Weather Painter Snow. And an area at the end. All right, three packs. If we see a Link Monster and it's gold, Hopefully that means it's Verte or, or um, Access Code. Oh, oh, I think I already spoiled it. Nightmare. Yep, Nightmare Unicorn. That's okay. That's still a pretty good one to get. And another Soul Eating Over Raptor. All right. Two packs, guys. Let's see what we got. We have an Eva. We have Doodle Doo. Gold Sarcophagus in a gold rare. 
Oh, is that upside down? Okay, maybe that's a sign. This is an upside down card. We have the Eldlich Golden Lord alternate art. That's pretty cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. That looks really nice. And our last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? What are we going to end with? Omega. Ooh, we got the Earth Charmer. Oh, we got Snowy Canvas. Another Evil Zarlagia. And... Oh, another Moonlit Chill. Wow. Okay, well, let's do a recap. Like I said, there's lots of good cards in here. Let's take a look and see what we got. So... We got play sets of some, two copies of others. No crazy misprints or anything. I think these all look pretty good. So uh, yeah, that is about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more. Let me know what you guys think of this set and if you enjoy it. Um, did you pull anything crazy? I'd love to read your comments and uh, what you think of this set. I know some people don't like it. I like it. Um, I like the way some of these gold rares look. Some of them are kind of odd looking or the choices of reprints is kind of strange on a few of these, but overall pretty cool. I mean, it helps drive down prices. Access code is a little easier to get now. And um, even if gold rare isn't like your favorite version of it, at least it's semi affordable now, but yeah, anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh! news, deck profiles, and other videos coming up in the near future, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and have a good one.